Hi everybody, it's Wanda. I just did one that had a black base using the golden paints. I really liked it, so now I'm gonna try it with a white base. Little different technique maybe, but very similar. So I think I'm even gonna use the same cup that I used before. Add some paint to it, do straight pours. I may do a few like, I don't know, like clockwork or something, you know, just go around and see how it moves. This stuff moves so good. Um, I really, really like that aspect of it. So I will give you the colors and the paint, I mean the mix, the way I mixed it in the description box because I'm kind of in a hurry this morning and we will go from there. Hmm, I may not like this. I might wish I hadn't done this. I left quite a bit of the white on there because I wanted it to move the paint. I do think I want to leave some negative space though, all the way around, which I don't normally do. Hope you all can see this. I'm just kind of watching to see what it does. So I've never done one like this with this paint. I think the blue and the yellow went green on me really bad. And I'm not a fan of green, as you probably know, if you've watched me very much. Ooh, this looks like a Rorschach test. I kind of like it though. Hmm. Very different. You know what? I think I'm gonna leave it. I think I'm gonna leave it. Um, it has a lot more white in it than I thought it would. So I wouldn't have added that white had I known that it was gonna blend like that. Um, Normally, I don't use paint this thin. So, that's also an issue that I'm not familiar with, you know, using the really thin mix of paint. But, um, hmm. I don't know about this one. I kind of like it in a way, because it's different than anything I think I've ever done before. So, you all tell me what you think. I'll take the camera down and give you a close-up. The green actually ended up being very pretty down in here. So, I don't know what it looks like as far as, you know, can your mind assimilate something here that it looks familiar to it. But, um, I kind of like it the way it is. And I want to welcome all my new subscribers. And I hope that you'll join me again. Spend a few minutes with me. Come back. Watch what I do. Because it's usually always an experiment. Um... I don't usually go with tried and true techniques. Um, sometimes I do, you know. I'll get in a habit. I try to stay out of habits. I try to do something, shift it up, you know, change it up a little bit for you. But um, I'm going to take the camera down, give you a close-up, and you all tell me what you think. Thank you so much.
Okay, I wanted to show you all how pretty this green turned out. I think this would look really cool on a big canvas. So I may have to do this um, on like a 16 by 20, see how it turns out. I have a, I think maybe I'd go with some darker colors. The red in there is showing up and that blue is showing up. Wish I'd have used more of the blue, but I have a 24 by 30 gallery wrap that I wanna pour here pretty soon. So I may do something like this. Um, it's not fabulous, but it's not horrible, I don't think. So I'm kind of happy with this. You all tell me what you think. Thank you.